I've just seen this post, right, and it says, come on out, little boy. And this picture of, you know, the avatar, right, and Aang is in a cave, and I forget who it was, I think it was, I'm about to say Tai Lung, whoever, which villain it was. And this villain's outside the cave, and it says, come out, little boy. Like, legit, come out the cave and fight me. What happens? Aang is inside the cave, and he's charging up his aura, he's getting ready to fight. The person on the other side, I've now personified, right, to be life. Life is opting you, it's tempting you, it's taunting you, saying, come outside, let's see what you're made of. Let's see where your courage lies. Are you a real warrior? Are you a hero? Right, or do you just talk smack? Do you walk it? Do you talk it? Do you feel it in your bones when you walk and say, this is ridiculous. I can't live like this. And I'll tell you that much even for myself. You read so many books. Today's book is The Focal Point by Brian Tracy. In this book, he identifies that the moment you can fix one issue, not any issue, but a good, good problem, right? If it's a business and a business has an issue and you fix that one thing that they can't fix, you're rewarded handsomely, right? Not because, oh, it's, it's everyone can fix it, no. He gives an analogy of a builder, of pretty much a mechanic, rather, and this mechanic goes to the shop, there's a, there's a car, this big Ferrari, it won't start, they've tried everything, it starts, it breaks down, they can't fix it. So they call in a specialist all the way from China, and this Chinese guy comes all the way down, he comes in with a briefcase, he looks at it, he looks at the schematics, he looks at everything, he levels it out, and he's like, okay, fix this. He circles one piston, and inside he says, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, you'll be fine. He leaves. 20 minutes after entering the building, the whole facility has waited months on months. They can't fix this issue. He comes in and he leaves. What the heck's wrong? What, what, what's this guy's issue? Like, legit, everyone's like, okay, what, what's this guy's deal, right? Why is he just coming in and leaving? Because he knows something they don't. They're like, okay, cool, fine, Mr. Magic Man, we'll fix it for you, we'll fix it, right? They fix the issue off their little thing, their little part, their little piston he circled, and whoop do you do It's working again. Why? Because he's identified something that they can't, and he's fixed their problem. He sends back the bill, he's like, this is going to be two, 20,000 pounds. What? The owner's reading this quotation saying, this makes no sense. You want me to pay £20,000 because you circled the piston? He said, well, let me send you back another quote. He says, it is $1 for circling the piston. 1000 no, it's, it's, it's $1 for circling the piston. It's £19,999 for knowing which one to circle. How's that up for size, right? Played and finished in simple fashion. He's got his money. What's one thing you can identify? Look at your life and see certain things which you need to fix. Money, financial, physical, whatever it is, you know, which one is hindering? Read more and find which one is going to be the one that needs the most amount of targeting to fix, right? There's so many different things. You look at our phones, right? There is something with this phone, right? This phone has made people millions of dollars, right? Can you do that, right? Do you know which apps to use? Do you know where to go? And every answer is within a book. I've been reading a lot, and I'll tell you this from my own experience. The world starts to open up the moment you learn more. I've read The Prince by Machiavelli. I've read The Focal Point. I've read uh, Ant Middleton, Fear Bubble. Rob Proctor, Bob Proctor, you, you Were Born Rich. I've read a lot of books. I'm on, currently on 28 books right now, this year. And I'm trying to see which one's going to be the breakthrough one. And learning more and more and more and more. Because every secret we want is hidden in a book. And I will read every single one until I find those secrets. Right? You need to find that small issue in your life. Focal point. Find the one thing. Right? Broaden it. Right? Your life. And then start circling a smaller circle. Right? What do you need to fix? What do you need to adjust? Identify. 
once you've identified, oh, here's my weak link, execute with no mercy and make sure you become the best person possible. Because I'm making these and I'm wondering, okay, on which end does it work? What, what angle do I have to put so people watch more? What do I have to say so people will tune more? And I need to find the focal point. Find your focal point. Execute. Grant Cardone 10x says dominate. Do not play a game of trying to compete with people. Find your area of expertise and dominate. That is what you're doing if you're doing fitness, lifestyle, makeup, whatever it is. Find it and dominate it. Because that is what I'm on right now is seeing how do I dominate a space. Is it by the 10x rule? Is it by being more positive? When I read You Were Born Rich by Ben Sweetland. In my whole life, I never thought I'd be able to list books like that. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, right? I know that there's more. Read more, understand more, and become better because you deserve it. Joseph Valente says, put a price tag on your head. What number of money is also in your born, uh, grow rich while you sleep? You have a price tag. When you walk in the street, is there a $10 sign floating? Or a $20 billion sign floating on top of your head. So fruit for thought. Now it says your boy mad stroke. Take it all in. Read more. The world is yours. Conquer. Go have a workout today. You've got this and nothing's stopping you. Lego. Dodge, weave, up, up, up. Uppercut, slip, duck. Bang, got you. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, I almost tore my suit. <laughs> but I didn't. So... We're chillin'. Have a sick day. Boom! Bruv. <laughs> Castillo. Hey!